The Leopards have won their fifth consecutive game, defeating Temple by a one to nothing score. Adam Dobrovolsky to be joined by the player of the game, Lisa Vandergeese, momentarily. But first, head coach Jennifer Stone, and your team's starting to get really good at this overtime thing, the sixth game, the fourth win in overtime, but just 21 seconds to get the W today. Your thoughts overall on the game? Yeah, um, that was definitely a back and forth game. I thought it was a pretty even game. Um, Temple's very well coached, very structured, very athletic, um, very disciplined, um, powerful. So for us, we um, just needed to be patient and keep doing a lot of what we were doing. Um, but uh, I thought we had uh, control of the game in um, certain aspects. I thought our second second half in particular, um, we were creating a lot of good opportunities for us. Um, those weren't necessarily coming in form of shots on goal, um, which we need to continue to work on. But I, I thought our, our group overall um, kind of battled and battled to the end. Um, for us to get that um, attack penalty corner kind of immediately into overtime, credit to Molly. Said, Molly, you got to go forward. We had a um, we were down a player, so we needed to manage 18 seconds, and no better way to manage manage time when you're uh, in an attack penalty corner situation. So, um, well done to the whole group for making that happen. Congrats on the win, coach. Thank you so much. And now with Lisa Vandergeese, Lisa, obviously a situation where there's now been a bunch of overtime games this season. But uh, talk about it defensively. You made some big stops, some big tackles, and make sure that stayed a scoreless game. Your thoughts overall on how the defensive unit handled things. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, Jennifer kind of already mentioned it. Temple every year is a tough team to play against. They're fit and they're athletic. So we know that something that we're going to be have to be aware of is their counterattacks and their pace and on the ball. Um, so we, I think we managed it honestly pretty well with um, like trying to stop them like earlier on the field that rather than letting them get to that sort of foot race later in the um like, yeah, like lower on the field. Um, but quite honestly, I just said it to the team too. I think with like Sydney uh, in the backfield too, she is incredibly fit. She's very fast and very athletic. So she she definitely helps us out with a lot of situations where she just comes up with a big stop. Um, and But yeah, quite honestly, I think it was a, a big piece of it was stopping them a little bit earlier and not letting them get too close to the circle. Same type of question I'll give to you to close up, but kind of more from a senior and captain standpoint. What do you tell the freshmen to make sure that mentally that they're prepared for a rivalry game like this where they don't get up too high, but they also aren't too low? That's a tough question. Um, I mean, everybody knows Lehigh, the rivalry, it's a big thing, but we also try to I mean, Jennifer just said it, it's, it's, it's just our next game, and we try to talk about every single, like, next game is the most important game on our schedule. So even though, yes, the Lehigh, like, the rivalry does have something extra to it, and obviously hoping we can, you know, give a little bit of that extra oomph, like, when we're going against them. But quite honestly, like, I don't really think we have to do anything different. Um, I mean, the freshmen, I think they're prepared. The sophomores, like, everyone in the team basically is prepared for a rivalry like this. Um, I think it's just going to be the extra pressure. And, you got to rise and you got to go and you got to own it. So, yeah. Congrats on the win, Lisa. Thank you. And again, for the Leopards, their next game is at Lehigh on the road, but they'll be back home next Sunday, a non league game against the defending colonial champions in William and Mary. For the Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Adam Dobrovolsky.